Hello, everyone. This course, we will introduce the MSTP lab guide. And as we know, we can use the STP protocol in our network to avoid the loop. And uh, about the STP version, we support normal STP, RSTP, and MSTP. And about the MSTP, we can use multiple instances. And the result, maybe all the link can help us for the message out. So we can improve the bandwidth usage. And usually, if we, if we deploy the MSTP, we will use a VRIP together. So this lab, we will use one topology to realize how to do the configuration of MSTP and what's the key command and what's some special uh, usage you have to know. And first, let's say the background. If here we use one topology to simulate the school network, and we use two switches to different for uh, switches, switch one and switch two, to force the traffic for different service. And uh, the switch one, for the traffic from academic affairs, office and students affair office, and switch to for the traffic from administrative office and financial office. And uh, we have two distribution switch, switch two and switch three. And we hope that the switch three can help us for the many, for the traffic for academic and also the student office. But the switch two can help us to for the message for administrative office and also the finance office. And here, because about this topology, there are lots of loop, right? So we need to deploy the MSTP. And uh, if we use STP or maybe RSTP, finally, some link will be blocked. So this is a waste of the bandwidth. And uh, we choose a protocol is MSTP, and we can create multiple instances. And uh, about the access switch, switch four, we will provide the traffic for terminals. And about the terminal link, for example, the interface connect with all the terminals. This interface, we hope we can enable the faster interface. Okay, port faster function. Enable this function. So finally, if the terminal directly to connect with our network, the, the state can be in the forwarding state, forwarding state immediately. So we can reduce the convergence time. Okay, so this is the basic one. In the between the switch two and switch three, we hope we can provide the link aggregation. So all the interface can be in the logical port. And finally, we can force the message out. So this is a basic requirement. And now let's see the purpose of this lab. We hope we can master the working principle and also deploy the multiple spanitary protocol and also use the VRIP together because we already have introduction about the VRIP in our SNRS course. And uh, we hope you also can master the application scenario of MSTP and VRIP. And here is the topology. We already added on the left one. And the requirement for us is switch three is one link. Usually provides the traffic for academic and also student. And another switch, switch two, we hope we can force the message for the administrative office in the finance office. Of course, for switchers, we don't know the traffic beyond to administrative or not depends on which IP segment we use. So we divide a different 
IP address for different scenario. Okay, this is uh, IP address planning. And the second requirement is we have to deploy the port faster and BPDO guard on the downlink port for access switch, switch four. And uh, we also want to provide the link mon monitoring function. That means if upper link is broken, we can immediately to use a backup link. And another requirement is between switch two and switch three, we'll use the link aggregation. It also can provide a high reliability. And another IP address planning for the terminals is PC one, two, three, and four. Four terminals simulate a different department for academic, student, administrative, and also finance. In the between switch one, two, and three, this link we use a layer three interface, and this is the IP address planning. And we will deploy one loopback address on switch one to do some network connection simulator. So these are the requirements. And if we want to finish the configuration, and here is a configuration planning. First, you have to complete the basic basic device interconnection includes the VLAN aggregation and also the IP address. And uh, the special configuration of, about the MSTP and the VRRP is usually deployed on the switch two and switch three and the switch four. And the VRRP will only will provide the configuration on the two and the three. And the basic port faster and BPDO guard configuration, we will add it on the switch four. And uh, if you want to finally to make the network connection between terminals and the loopback address, we also have to provide a basic static route. So they are the planning. And now we can do it one by one. So first is you have to finish the basic network interconnection and also the VLAN. So we can do it one by one. On switch one, enable, you have to create the loopback address, right? On the configuration page and uh, enter the loopback zero and give the IP address is 1.1.1.1, mask is 32, it is finished. And uh, besides the loopback address, we also have two physical interface connect with switch two and switch three. This interface are the layer three interface. So you can do the configuration on gigabit zero one. To change the mode to become layer three interface first, no switch, okay. And then give the IP address 12.0.0.1. The mask is 24. And another interface connect with switch three. Enter gigabit zero two. Also, you need to change to become layer three interface and the gives IP address 13.0.0.1, 24. Okay, this is a basic for the switch one. And about the switch two, we have one layer three interface to connect with switch one. Enter gigabit zero six and change to become less ring interface and give the IP address 12.0.0.2. The mask is 24. Okay, so this is a basic for IP address. And another one is the switch to also is a gateway of all the terminals. And we will use a VLAN SVI interface to make the gateway. So about the VLAN configuration, you have to create the basic VLAN ID first. We use a VLAN 10 for PC1, 20 for PC2, and uh, uh, not uh, this one, wrench. VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 40 for four, uh, four terminals. And uh, another one is, this is the interface uh, VLAN configuration for all the terminals. And between switch two and switch three, we use the link aggregation, right? 
So you also have to add the configuration of link aggregation. You can create link aggregation port first and switch the mode to become trunk. And also in the trunk, we hope you can only allow the service VLAN. VLAN only 10, 20, 30, and 40, okay? And another one is you must add the physical interface into the link aggregation. So enter range gigabit 0, 7 to 8, and add into the port group 1, okay? So this is a basic, now the state is up. And uh, another is the physical link connect with access switch, switch 4. This interface also should be chunk. So enter gigabit 01. Switch the mode to become chunk. In the switch, the chunk. Allow VLAN only 10, 20, 30, and 40. So this is a basic configuration for switch 2. And for the switch three, enter configuration. And also same, very similar configuration like switch two. You have one physical interface to connect with switch one. Enter gigabit zero six, okay? And give the IP address 13.0.0.3.24, okay? So this is the Oh, should be to become layer three first. Then give IP address. And another one is you have to create the configuration for VLAN. Exist, create a VLAN range 10, 20, 30, and 40. Okay. And uh, create the link aggregation, aggregation port one. And aggregation port one. And uh, this interface should be the trunk, right? And uh, you have to allow VLAN only 10, 20, 30, and 40. And uh, you have to enter the physical interface gigabit 0, 07 to 8, add into the link aggregation 1. Okay, and another is the interface connect with the access switch. You also have to change the mode to become trunk. And about the trunk, you have to allow your service VLAN pass through 10, 20, 30, and 40. Okay, so this is a configuration for switch three. And for switch four, Let's say this is access switch, right? Config T, you have to create the VLAN and also you have to add the VLAN, uh, sorry, add the terminal interface into the VLAN. That means make the interface connect with terminals to become access interface. So you have to create VLAN 10 and uh, this interface connect with PC1, gigabit 00. zero. And interface gigabit zero zero in the create VLAN 20 and the interface gigabit zero one create VLAN 30 and the interface gigabit zero two VLAN 40 and the interface gigabit zero three. Okay, so this is a basic one. And uh, another is you also have two physical interface to connect with our distributed switch, right? So you have to enter the two interface to make them to become chunk. Switch chunk allow VLAN only 10. 20, 30, and 40, okay? So this is uh, 
ready. And about the terminals, PC1, IP address is 192.168.10.1. Mask is 24. This is PC1. And uh, about the PC2, IP address is 192.168.20.1. Mask is 24. And about the PC3, IP address is 192.168.30.1. Invalid IP address, or oh, we add mm, as a not, not IP address, should be IP. Okay, and another one for PC4 IP address, no address. 192.168.41. Mm, gateway is one ninety two dot one six eight dot forty dot two hundred fifty four. Okay, so now the IP address also is configuration, and the next step you have to finish the SVI on switch two and switch three, and also the VRIP configuration. So we can do it on switch two first. You have to create the VLAN SVI 10, give one IP address. In this IP address, you have to know switch two is the master VRIP in PC1 and PC2. So you have to give higher priority than switch three. But switch three is the master of PC3 and PC4. So in the PC3 and the PC4, switch three master has high priority. So now we create the SVI 10 first, give the IP address 192.168.10.253, or 10 the max 24. When you give the SP, SVI IP address, you must consider it. Switch two and switch three, both of them need an IP address, but the IP address cannot be saved. Otherwise, there is a duplicated IP address, okay? But if the priority are same in the VIP group, we will choose a bigger IP address will become master. So in your network, if you want to use the priority to select the master, the IP address does not matter. You only keep the IP address as unique is enough. Otherwise, if the priority is same, the master must uh, the master must have high a uh, bigger IP address. So here is a basic IP address for switch two. And then you can create the VIP VIP ten IP address is one ninety two dot one six eight. Uh, Dot 10.254. In the same group, the VRRP virtual IP address must be same, cannot be different. Okay, so please keep uh, pay attention about this one. 10 and the priority is 120. The default priority is 100. So maybe the backup, you can use the default one. In the master, you can give high priority. So you will find by first, if you enable the VRP in one switch, the status will become initial and then to backup. And then we will become master because now in the VRP group, only switch two enables this function, right? So finally, the switch will become master. If later we add a higher priority for another switch, we will change the state automatically. You don't need to add other configuration. They will do the negotiation automatically. 
And also you have to add the check function. If your uplink is broken, we hope that the switch three can be a new master, right? And the command is vrp10. We want to check our upper interface is gigabit zero slash six. And the, if we detect the physical interface is broken, we want to reduce the priority. The value is 30. And pay attention, you also can reduce the priority 50 or 60. But finally, your current priority 120 can't reduce your priority if the uplink is broken. The value must be smaller than your backup. Otherwise, switch to still will become master. So pay attention about this one. This is a basic for VLAN 10. And another for VLAN 20. Also, uh, the switch to is uh, master of the PC2. So we, we should give us a high priority. The IP address is 192.168.20.250. Three, right? And the mask is 24. And create the VIP group 20. The IP address is 192.168.20.254. And give the VIP 20 the priority to become 120. And you have to check VIP20, check the gigabit 06. If we detect, we want to reduce the priority 30. Okay. And another one for VLAN 30, we hope switch to is our backup. So you only uh, use the normal priority, the default priority is enough. IP address is 192.160.30.252 and the mask is 24. The VIP group 30 to give IP address 192.160.30.254. Use a default priority so you don't need to change the priority, right? And now about the switch to also will become master. That's because now in our group, we only have one switch, right? So this is the configuration of the interface VLAN 2. And another one is VLAN 40. And give the IP address 192.168.40.252, mask is 24. VRP 40, IP address for 192.168.40.254. Okay, so this is a configuration of switch two. And on the switch three, you also have to add the configuration like switch two. But switch three is a backup of PC1 and PC2, is a master of PC3 and PC4. So first about SVI10, give an IP address 192.168.10.252.24. And the VRRP 10 IP address, the virtual IP address must be same with switch to 10.254. Okay. And another one is VLAN 20. Only backup. IP address for 192.168.20.252.24. Dot the VIP 20 for 192.168.20.254. We lost the key command IP. Okay, and another one for VLAN 30. IP address is 192.168.30. 253 and the VRP is 30. Priority, uh, sorry, should be give IP address first. 
IP is 192.160.30.254. Okay, now this one will become a new master immediately. And uh, later, we have to set the priority 30 to become 120, right? Also, because now our IP address is bigger than switch two. So according to the IP address comparison, we can immediately to become master. But for, for good plan, we want to use a priority to finally select master. And also you have to check the uplink. Gigabit 06, radio 30. And another one in the VLAN 40, switch so three also is master. IP address for 192.168.40.253, mask is 24. And the VRRP for 40, IP address for 192.168.40.254. Okay, this one also will be master. And the priority is 120, and we need to check. Gigabit 036 in the 30. So this is a basic configuration of switch two and the switch three. And another one for the MSTP post faster and the BPDO guard configuration. The next configuration belong to MSTP. Now we only finish the configuration for VRP. So about the MSTP, the switch two, three, and four, these switches will use MSTP protocol, but switch one not. So we only add the configuration on two, three, and four is enough. So about the switch two, you have to enable the spanetry first. Enable spanetry. If you finish enable, the base, uh, we will use the default mode is MSTP. And then you can create the MSTP instance, MST configuration, gives the name. In the same domain, the name must be same. For example, now we reuse RIG. And the version, the reversion, we use version two. And we create two instances to follow the message, right? Because about the VIP it based on the layer three for worrying, but finally the message should be forwarded out according to the layer two physical link. So MSTP is the function for layer two, and we hope your VLAN and your gateway must be used the same device. For example, now we already know switch two is a master gateway for PC1 and PC2. So in MSTP, when we create the instance, we also hope switch two can be our root bridge, right? So this is a basic limitation. And we create instance one, and uh, the instance one, we will use VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, and another one you create an instance two, we will provide a function for 30 and 40. Okay, so this is a basic one and it exists. And uh, we hope a switch two can be VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 root bridge. So you can set Spanish rate MST1 and the priority value should be smaller, right? 4096. Okay. But for Spanish tree two, instance two, the priority is 8192. Okay. Of course, here finally we enable the Spanish tree, or maybe begin you enable Spanish tree, and same result. Okay. And about the switch three, also same. 
you can create the instance first, MST configuration. And the name should be same, reg, and the revision is two. The instance, the instance relationship must be same in the same domain. And the instance, yes, we already create this VLAN, right? So there also, there, this only is a warning, not, not about the error, because we already created VLAN before 30 and 40, right? And uh, then exists about the switch three should be the master of, uh, should be the root bridge for PC three and PC four. This means for instance two. And then the Spanish three MSTP one priority should be lower than switch two. So we use eight one nine two. Right, and another one, Spanish Ray MST two should be root bridge. So the priority should be forty ninety six, and then you can enable the function Spanish Ray. They will do the negotiation. In the the switch four, let's see. This is access switch, right? And uh, you also have to make the Spanish MST. The name should be same with switch two and the switch three. And the revision is two. And the instance one, we will provide the relationship VLAN 20 and 20. And uh, the instance two, for VLAN 30 and 40, okay? And another one, you don't need to change the priority because by default, we will use the priority 32 and 66, uh, 76 and eight. This is a default value. If you don't add this command, it, it also can work. And another one is you have to enable the spanning tree, okay? So it will work. So this is a basic configuration for MSTP. And another requirement is for all terminals, we can provide some faster convergence mechanism. So we enable the port faster and also the BPDO guard. So let's say the configuration for the terminal. Int range gigabit zero to three, four interfaces. And the Spanish trace the uh, port faster. Okay. And also Spanish trace the BPDO. God. Spanish trace the BPDO guard enable. Okay. So now if our terminal uh, connect with uh, our switch four, they can directly help the terminal to forward the out, to forward the message out because the state is forwarding. And also the switch will never send the BPDO message to all the terminals because we enable this function. So now the MSTP and VIP configuration is ready. Then you also have to add the routing information. On the switch one, you can use some dynamic route. It can work. Also, maybe you can add some static route. Okay, so about the static route on the switch one. For example, if you switch one, want to send the message to PC one, you have two link, right? One link directly sent to switch two, another link sent to switch three. So in this scenario, you can provide some load balance or maybe uh, backup and uh, the active link. So here we choose, if we reply the message, we will directly to use uh, switch two and another one for the switch three. Switch three for the backup. So in this scenario on the switch one, you have to add a lot of routing information. That's why in some complex network, we want to use, we want to use uh, dynamic routing protocol. 
and one for roots. One at two, the one six eight, the ten to zero. Ten to zero mask twenty four. And who will be our gateway? And who will be our next hope? Zero to zero to two, right? This is the um, path to choose which two. And another next hope for switch three, 13 to zero to zero to three. We want to use the prior uh, priority to become 100. So you will find in your IP routing table, you only can see one static route. The priority is one because another priority value is 100. This is a backup, okay? And another one for PC2 terminal, also same. 20, right? For 20, uh, switch to is our main next hope. And another one for switch three, 13 to three. This should be backup. And another for the terminal of PC3 and PC4. Switch 3 should be the backup, uh, should be the active link. Switch 2 is a backup. So the command is for the 30. Switch 2 should be backup. And for the switch 3, this is the active link. Okay, and another one for the 40, PC4. The switch two also is backup. But for the switch three, this is active. Okay, so now if you show the IP root, you will find we will have three, uh, four static root, right? And the switch two is the uh, active link for PC1 and PC2. Switch three is active link for PC3 and PC4. This is a message, switch one, how to force a message to all the terminal. And about the switch two and switch three, we need the routing to wait the loopback address, right? So about switch two, we hope we can add this one active link, one to one to one to one, 255. The main next hope is directly for the two switch one. Okay, so this is a basic for switch two to add the routing information to wait the lookback address for switch one. And about switch three, we also need to add the static route. One the one the one the one. Next over is thirty the zero the zero the one. Okay, we add more feature here. Okay, so now it's finished, and then we can use some command to check the result. For example, to check the MSTP status, right on the switch two. You can show statutory summary. And here you can find we have two MST is a instance one and two. And what's your VLAN map? Provides a series for VLAN 10 and 20. And this is the priority. And the switch two is the root bridge, right? And about switch two, as the instance two. The, prior, the master is not switched to, right? Okay, let's see. We don't change the priority for MSTP. We can check on switch three first. Show Spanish tree summary. Okay, for switch three, we forgot to change the priority here, right? This for 
instance zero. For instance one, ah, we only add MSTP one, not about the uh, instance two. So this is the wrong configuration on the Spanish tree. Spanish tree MST configuration. We can show this. And you only have one instance. Maybe we forgot to create the instance one. So no instance one VLAN 30 and 40, right? Okay, you forgot this. And instance two, you should be VLAN 30 and 40, right? Okay, exist. So now we is sharp shooting. So Spanish tree summary. You will find now the instance one who will become master switch two, right? And about switch three, who will become our master? Also it's 49. That's mean we don't use the priority here. Spanish tree instance two, the priority should be uh, this switch three is a uh, rule bridge for instance two. So eight, nine, ten, six. Right? Show Spanish tree summary. It is correct. Right now, this switch is a rule bridge. It is the same with our local priority. And on the switch two, you can show the Spanish tree summary. You will find on the instance two, local priority is this one. And this switch is switch three will become our master. So this is a basic one. Check the Spanish tree. And also besides this one, you can check the status on the switch one, right? What's the different, uh, not about switch one, switch four. What's the different uh, status of uh, all the terminals? Show Spanish summary on the switch four. You can check the status on all the physical link to connect with switch four. All the interface is design port and uh, some interface is broken in different instance. In the switch two, instance two, we block the interface physical link seven. That's mean if the traffic from PC3 and PC4, we will use the interface gigabit 08 to force a message out directly to switch three. But if the VLAN from PC10 and PC20, we block the interface of gigabit 08, block the left one, the right one, we will directly send the message to switch two. So it is working. And later on the switch two and switch three, you can show the VRP. Check the gateway. VRP. For VLAN 10 and 20, it is master. For VLAN 30 and 40, it is backup. And for switch three, show VRP brief. For VLAN 10 and 20, it is backup. 30 and 40, it is master, right? So it is working. And another one, now you can shut something. For example, on the switch two, if you shut down the upper interface, interface gigabit 06, we do some check function on the VRP, right? Shut down. Shut down this interface, and later there is warning. First is your physical interface is done. And another one, because we check the VRP in the group, uh, uh, in the VIP group 10 and 20. So now you will find the state immediately from master to backup. And now you show the VIP summary. 
brief, not about summary. VIP brief. You will find all VIP groups, they will become the backup. Okay, so this is a basic one. And uh, if the switch three enters uplink, you also shut down. You will find that now the link is broken, right? And also the 30 and 40, the state will become backup, right? Show the VRRP brief. All of them will become the backup. But 10 and 20 will become master because we still use the uh, command. We still use the higher priority than the switch to because now the switch to priority is 90, but my priority is 100. And on the switch three, we don't provide the check for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So this is a result. So this is a basic one. And the key point of the lab is you can set the distribute switch as a root bridge by changing the priority, right? And the suggest keep the VRIP master in your root bridge as the same device. Otherwise, maybe the forwarding path will not be the best one. So must pay, uh, must pay attention about this. And uh, about the port faster and the BBDO guard function usually provide for the interface connect with our terminals. So we can prevent the topology flapping due to the port up and down. And also we can uh, provide the function of avoid loop. And in the VIP, we use a special function for the check, right? If your upper link is broken, we can directly reduce the priority for the VIP group. So the state will be changed. Okay, so this is a key point of this lab. That's all, thank you.